But I want to get to other conspiracies because, John, I bring this conspiracy to your doorstep. Because College Football Playoff Committee, of course, um, was the big story this week. Um, FSU is out. Alabama is in. Texas is in. Ron DeSantis now is at the table, threatening all sorts of things. And the main conspiracy here is that, of course, I'd like to see Ron DeSantis play Michigan. <laughs> he was a baseball player, yeah. I know he was. He was I've, decent. I follow. He's ashamed now of actually to. having gone to that elite That's right. Ivy That's right. institution. That's right. But he's not he ashamed to money. put a million dollars in the state budget to help Florida State sue, which is a laughable response, but probably uh, popular with FSU graduates. I think this is a bit of a travesty. Um, well, the ESPN conspiracy, John, again, you so presided the over the network while is the network is silly. So the, the, but the conspiracy is not a conspiracy. It, it's it's got to okay, be true. So I want to I want to teach the but controversy true here in how I, I was there and was the most interested party for 13 years of my employment. They picked in almost every one of those years, four teams to play in a playoff. They never asked me my opinion. I never offered it to them. The, the idea that there's some secret calls made from ESPN into the 13-member room is just silly. I saw some guys talking about ESPN blocked this because they want FSU to go to the SEC conference. It's absurd. The ESPN has no reason to want to punish FSU. Did you watch the selection show when you were president of ESPN and see, oh, those are the four teams? Um, I got a call. Before question, it was announced, David. telling me who the four teams were. I love it. I, that's what you get for your half a billion dollars annually a for call broadcasting. Two minutes before this playoff, is you get the special call like The Rock got about Osama bin Laden's assassination. <laughs> By the way, if I actually had had input into it, I would never have created a four-team playoff. I would have created an eight-team playoff. How five college commissioners went into a room and came out with, oh, we're going to leave one of our champions out of this. Makes no sense. And this is finally coming home to roost yes, for, for the them. first time, really. And I just believe the sort of introducing the new element of, oh, if you have injuries, I don't know, if your coach gets COVID, suddenly you can't appear. What if the player had gotten hurt? Uh, in practice leading up to the game. Stop Stop getting all of us distracted by what you're saying because what you're not saying is that ESPN having Alabama and the SEC in the Good. championship game is better than having so, Florida State and the ACC it, it is, in the but game. That doesn't that mean indisputable. That doesn't mean that A is greater than B well, and B is greater than C. Uh, and are that, you doing transitive property? A is greater than B, B is greater than C, so A is greater than C. That is actually I, true. Okay. I, so you, you, but no, you, you are incentivized. Stop the is, SAT practice test and speak to incentives. David, John, you know how David's brain works? David incentives believes that anytime anything happens, it happens because it benefits somebody yes. financially. Can, can you imagine thinking <laughs> that? I must be out of my mind to think I'm that. I'm just telling you, I was there. We tried hard to influence things. We did not get to pick Alabama being in and FSU being out. I will guarantee you that nobody at ESPN called and said, we're going to pay you less money or we're going to, you have to do this for us. They didn't. Is there a change in the SEC broadcast partner next year? So next year, ESPN takes over the only game they did not have. The three, what was the CBS 330 window? Which had been a big thing for CBS. They've had it for 24 years or something. They cried at the end of the broadcast, basically. That's how big it is. It. At CBS, where once in a while I am, the SEC, it's a big deal to have that game. It's a very big deal to have that game. And they had it for $55 million, and ESPN is now paying $300 million. Now, given that they're now paying $300 million, do you agree that having the SEC represented in the CFP, who broadcast the CFP? I can't remember. Which ESPN, of course. Oh no! Hold on, they do the CFP and the I'm just SEC. You, we could go oh, on and on, but let's Florida not. Florida State in. Let, let's. I'm go. happy to move on, John. I, I just don't believe on. you, and it's fine if you don't want to sell out. No members of the committee ever contacted you. Uh, nobody ever asked me my opinion of who should be in the four. He's answering no. in a way. But can but... I? Can I? 
No, I, no, you, you actually are wrong. I know. So, and, I, and this is sort of like <laughs> my telling you, I know you're telling me that this is how it worked to the Marlins, but I, I know better what you're than saying, you but do. I'm talking about this year. This year. I have no idea. You, Maybe since I left, they've become corruptible. <laughs> let's, pull, let's get that full quote. Please. Let's circulate that on TikTok. I want to though understand the magnitude. They of haven't, it. by the way. <laughs> no, I believe. Look, we had we had a, we had a selection committee uh, member on Paul Torrey finds out John Urschel who spoke to the true mundane nature of this exercise. That said, I want to be realistic about acknowledging the magnitude of incentive. Right. So, keep aside the Frost Nixon vibe you guys have right now. And get to the question of how much more helpful is it to have Alabama in a game versus Florida State without a quarterback, but maybe even with a quarterback? What's that difference like? It's better. It's the difference of a 13-point spread versus a two-point spread. It's the difference in a game that where Alabama has a greater following. I'm sorry to all the Seminoles out there and the FSU people, many of whom I know and love. Alabama is more both positive and negative. More people have an opinion about Nick Saban in Alabama than do about FSU. So the difference in fan base between Florida State and Alabama is not vast. I mean, Florida State is one of the teams you would like to have in. I mean, it's ironic. I think they overthought it. I mean, for a minute, let's just get mm -hmm. to what we can. So I think they overthought it. I think they thought exactly what you thought, David, meaning, but I think it happened in that room. I don't think ESPN called. I think the people in that room went, Oh my gosh, we want the best possible tournament. We want the four best teams. We're looking at a Florida State team that didn't look very good against L Louisville. We're afraid that what's going to happen is what happened last year. Of course, what happened last year? Was it Michigan who got beat by TCU? 45 I points or something? Here. I think that what John is saying is exactly how it happened. So they and, were motivated by money. Yeah. And remember, they're going to be going to market here very soon. So I think they went... We do not want that to happen. Wait, what do you mean by that? The college football playoff deal with ESPN is coming up. They're, in fact, talking about having a rotation the way the Super Bowl does, right? So Smart move. Let's, let's which go is, to 12 quite, teams by the way, next Which is year. quite it's smart. If also, you go to 12 yeah. and rotate, you're going to bring yeah. in way more revenue. And once again, they picked the wrong number. They're going to go from 4 to 12. They should be going from 8 to 16. The point of the whole thing is to create games – that create value, why you want to give four teams a buy, I don't know. So I should point out, in defense of the committee who has been the punching bag that you guys can agree on, is that on the rules, on the rule book, there is this clause that talks about if a player or coach is missing that affects their performance going forward, that is a consideration. That's always been a rule. It was cited before the decision was made. For that reason, I was unsurprised by it. However, I do want to get to this other conspiracy about Ron DeSantis. Because the other thing, of course, is that, I mean, Donald Trump tweets on Truth Social about how, oh, let's blame Ron DeSantis for FSU being left out. Ron DeSantis is now full-throatedly saying a million dollars. And to you guys, um, well, to others, there is the Disney connection. Not to me, but yes. So the Disney connection is this, for those of you not in Florida, in which I'm not anymore, but it's a pretty big deal. DeSantis and Disney are at war. DeSantis is the governor of Florida. Disney does a lot of business in Florida, in Orlando, and there are a lot of benefits that Disney gets to being in Florida, and Ron DeSantis would like to get rid of some of those corporate benefits, to which I would assume you'd appreciate some of the things he's trying to do to level the playing field for the corporate welfare. And so the thought is that it is a FU to DeSantis by keeping FSU out of it, by the Disney company. And yeah. to that, I say horse hockey, and you say same thing. It's bullshit. Right. Um, ha ha having, 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 Horseshit. having said that, I also would quarrel a little bit. DeSantis does not really care. Uh, he picked a fight with Disney for political benefit. I don't think he picked a fight because Disney is getting oh, I totally benefits agree. that other people shouldn't get. He thought that he was going to ride this, I'm Mr. Anti-Woke to the Republican nomination. That has proven to be a very ineffective strategy. Yeah. Most of the country does not believe that woke versus anti-woke is our most important issue right now. Um, and it's proved to be a big failure, and uh, I wish him continued bad luck. Well, DeSantis has actually, there, not one thing has gone well in his campaign. 
I can't think of one no, thing his campaign that he is now leaking. Uh, maybe this year actually was not ideal for yeah, challenging Donald Trump, you think. And it really, well, he initially thought, I mean, now we're completely off the subject, but the whole purpose for DeSantis was this is the exact time to challenge yes, we Donald are, Trump. We 